Welcome and hello, YouTubers in America and around the world. This is a very exciting video for me. I usually talk politics and this and that and that kind of crap. Today, I'm talking bamboo biochar. I want to show you something. This is a drum I made right here. Um, and this is the lid with a smokestack installed. And this is the inside drum. This is called a double drum retort method of making charcoal. This is an inside drum loaded up with uh, bamboo. And um, so that's very cool, right? I'm going to show you now a video, I think. Uh, i got to figure out how to do this again. Screen capture. <laughs> I'm not real good at this anymore. I used to be. I used to know what I was doing, actually. All right, let me get this up here. And what this is going to be is my first attempt at um, making bamboo biochar. This is going to be a little bit of a bid on the first lighting. I don't think you can hear the sound from the vid, but basically... I first lit this. Now, what this was was that 30-gallon drum is turned upside down, put in the middle of this 55, and then it's stuffed all around the 55 with, guess what, bamboo. Uh, and then I used the sheaths and the leaves to light it, which is uh, really, they're quite flammable. And this was the uh, original start of the burn. So uh, that's what that video is. Okay, now we're going to move that over, and I'm going to show you a little later in the burn. And what we'll see here is that the smoke has pretty much died down. Um, it's still burning. There's still smoke coming out of that chimney. It's hard to see. If you look, uh, I'll, I'll turn the camera up just a little right here, and you can see that little bit of smoke, a little bit of smoke coming out, uh, which kind of tells me that it's burning the gases off of the bamboo inside um, and you can see down at the bottom uh, the holes that are in the drum there's holes all the way around the drum down at the bottom and there's holes at the top I don't know if you can see here I try to get close enough so you can see yes that it's lit all the way down and it's burning off the gases okay well, that's all very well and good, um, but the question is, did it make charcoal, right? I mean, that's the most important thing. And what I have here is part of the finished product. This is a bucket full of bamboo charcoal. As you can tell, it's completely carbonized all the way through. Beautiful quality. Um, you get very little soot on your hands, which helps tell you that it, it's a good quality. Let me see if I can get a close up there. Beautiful color. You can even see the features of the original cane, the nodes. And when you look in the end, you can see it's carbonized all the way through beautifully. Um, I think I have a split piece where you can see the inside node and that it's carbonized all the way through. Beautiful bamboo charcoal. Um, very exciting. Um, this will probably be a new product for me. It's a lot of work. You know, mostly, mostly time. But I tried several different varieties, all different thicknesses, uh, wall thicknesses, tube thicknesses. I put them in there, stacked up. They're extremely light, extremely light. So I don't think we'll sell this by weight. But um, very successful project. I want to thank all you YouTubers out there who have made videos on how to create charcoal or biochar. Um, and um, I want to thank you very much for the information that you've shared. It worked very well my first time out. And um, 
you know, if it weren't for you guys, I'm sure I would have screwed up a lot. I still got way more smoke than I expected, and the duration of the smoke was longer than I expected. That may be due to some greener bamboos that I had in there burning along the outside, uh, creating the fire um, to heat the uh, bamboo that I was charcoalizing. Uh, overall, took about three hours. Uh, did a wonderful job. I, I just flipped the barrel over, dumped it out. There were very few hot coals left by the time I went out there. Um, and uh, I have a wonderful product. Wonderful product. Uh, I'm going to put some links in the sidebar on uh, some of the uses of, of bamboo charcoal. And, uh, you know, just read a few for now for electromagnetic, electromagnetic netic wave protection. You put charcoal near electrical appliances like personal computers and television sets to dissipate the EM waves. Wow, better get a piece out and put it right here in front of my laptop. Cool. Uh, Odor and humidity protection. (laughs) Rub a little under the arms. Um, Place it in packs in shoes, uh, in the car, washroom, kitchen, all that. Bedding. Uh, support pillows and mattress protectors promote deep sleep. Uh, feng shui, skin care. You know, it, it just goes on and on. Water for purification and cooking rice. Um, I'm going to put the links in. You can go look. Uh, there's quite a bit more information out on the web other than the links that I'm going to put in. Appreciate you watching. That is how you make bamboo biochar. And uh, since I have acres of bamboo here, I'm going to really enjoy uh, turning all that waste product into something useful and beneficial. And it's carbon sequestration. One of the things I'm going to do with it is uh, mix it with my horse manure compost, and uh, that's going to help activate that compost, and it's going to be a nice soil enhancement. So um, again, to everybody that uh, made a video on how to make charcoal and all that kind of stuff, really appreciate it. Thank you very much, and peace. Have a good day, folks. Just remember, it's not always all bad news.